Well, I was about to, uh, by the way, welcome to the channel, and uh, thank you for at least getting started watching this. <laughs> I was fixing to do some maintenance on my Pro XS175 today. I'm going to change the oil in it and the lower unit grease, and uh, I got to thinking, I said, well, there's about a half a gazillion videos on this, but I'm going to do it on this one too. Maybe somebody will watch it that hadn't seen it somewhere else. So I got my muffs hooked up because I like to warm up the engine. Seems to get that oil a little bit warmer and lets it flow out a little bit quicker and uh, more efficiently. So we're going to crank this thing up and let it run for a few minutes. got the engine warmed up. I've got a 17 millimeter wrench. I put this uh, hose on the oil drain cockpit, I guess you would call it, and we're going to loosen it up and just let it drain into this pan. Simple as that. Counterclockwise, don't go clockwise to tighten it, counterclockwise to loosen it up. And you don't need to open it up a long ways, a couple of turns and it'll start flowing. Next, while it's still dripping out a little bit at the bottom into the pan, I like to get as much out as I can. We're going to go ahead and replace this oil filter. Oil filters right here on the uh, port side of the engine or the left side if you're standing behind the engine. And uh, it's really easy to get to, uh, at least on the 175, as I don't know about the rest of them. I assume they're, they're probably all the same. And it's got a little drip uh, pan, I guess you call it, up underneath this thing. I like to take a paper towel, shove it down in here a little bit. I hate for that oil to get in there. And, I don't know, I just don't like it, the engine to be messy. So uh, this particular filter in the 2019 Pro XS 175 four stroke is a 35-8M023025. And the last time I bought these, I bought two of them. This is, a, as you can see, Mercury brand. So we're going to unscrew this one and put the new one on. Every fella to himself, but I use the Bass Pro Shops 4-stroke 10W30 Marine Engine Oil, the premium blend. It's uh, certified by the NMMA. It's, uh, I mean, it's got all the certifications and stuff any other oil would have. It's not a bad price, and I've got 237 hours on the engine now, and uh, and I mean, it might blow up next time I crank it up, but so far, so good. It has, uh, it hadn't given me a lick of trouble in 237.1 hours. So, we're going to take this, we're going to take this new filter, and we're going to put a little bit of oil, just like you change oil and anything else, we're going to put a little bit of oil around the gasket, and then we're going to spin the new one on and put it uh, pretty snug, hand tight, and 
We're going to start filling it up with oil. I believe it holds uh, seven quarts. Make sure you got this cleaned off real good up here. You don't want anything creating a possibility of a leak or anything like that. And I cleaned it out pretty good with paper towels too. We're going to get some oil poured in here and have you a rag handy because, uh, again, I don't like oil pouring all over my engine. And no matter how careful you are, even with replacing the oil filter, you're going to get a few drops. You're going to drip out and then when you crank the motor and it warms up, you're going to see some smoke and you're going to smell something burning, thinking your engine's burning up. But it's just burning off if that oil touches something hot. So we fix and fill it up with oil. Don't forget to tighten the drain plug, which I didn't do. I just thought about it right before I got up on the boat. So let's get that done. Make sure when you tighten that drain plug down, you don't just wrench down on it clockwise and just snug and leave it there. You don't want to damage anything because if you start losing oil around that plug, and I don't know how hard you would have to wrench down on it to make that happen, but if it's underwater, you're not going to know it unless you just look back there. So just snug, and that'll work fine. Now we're going to put the oil in the engine. Well, there's four quarts. I've got some left in this one from the last time I changed oil. And this is the first time I let it go the whole 100 hours or where a vessel view says to change oil. I believe that's 100 hours. I just want to see what the oil was going to look like on that oil change. I mean, you could tell it needed changing, but I probably won't go 100 hours again. I just like to change it earlier. And by the way, if you get, if you decide to go with this kind of oil and y'all listen, I. I, I, nobody's given me anything to say this, but uh, I buy it by the case, four in a case, and you get it a lot cheaper. And sometimes they run it on sale for like $12 a gallon. And you can't beat that when you compare to some of the uh, brand name stuff. And for all I know, it's the brand name people that make this oil too. All right. There's a little over two quarts left in this one, so that'll get me at six quarts. And after I get this in, I'm going to put it, the caps back on and all, and I'm going to crank it and let it circulate, and then see where I'm at. It'll need a little bit more in a quart, probably, once it fills the oil filter and all that. Not a big deal to do this on your own. And it's a heck of a money saver, I'm telling you. And I'm not trying to take businesses away from the business away from the marine dealerships, but dead gum. If I can save a couple of bucks, I want to. I guess this would be an episode of the Frugal Fisherman. So far, check the filter. The filter's not leaking anywhere that I can see right now. I'm gonna let it run for a couple of minutes before I turn it off, let the oil drain down, and check it again. And I'll keep an eye on that oil filter too, just to make sure. Yep, just like I thought. Looks like it's about a quart low. 
going to add a cord into it and we should be good to go. Well, you see that little yellow plug right there? I forgot about that. That is the drain plug for the overflow or the spill that comes out of your oil filter when you spin it off. I just smooth forgot. I still put a paper towel in that little catch tray to keep so much from coming down because you don't have a whole lot of room to catch it, but it does make it nice for the rest of it. You can put a little paper towel or something under there to catch the oil. Sorry about that, just smooth forgot about it. We're full of oil. Next thing's going to be to uh, change the lower unit grease. If you've never changed the lower unit grease before on your own, it's not that big a deal either. Uh, just a couple of items we've got to take care of. Um, so I'm going to get the camera a little bit closer so you can see this. You've got to take the prop off obviously first and we've got to get these little ears, these little, they lock the, the nut on, uh, get a pretty good size screwdriver, open those up, and you need a set, uh, inch and an eighth socket uh, to take it loose. I'm sorry, it's not an inch and an eighth. Hold on just a minute. It's an inch and a sixteenth. I grabbed the wrong socket. You got to put a little wood back up to take this off. Take, your little, take the nut off, the lock key off, and just pull everything straight off of your shaft. I always like to inspect my shaft, see if there's anything on the splines or anything I need to know about. Got to get this washer off. It's a little tight sometimes. Don't hit it too hard. Just pop it loose. Inspect it. All looks good. Remember which direction you took it off. You've got a flange, a wider part on the outside. Flange is down smaller. The biggest part goes to the back. Well, let's trim it down. Get your drain pan. I can't believe how pretty this weather's turned out today. I guess I should have took my day off and went fishing. You've got two small nuts underneath I guess this may show it I'm not sure one is a fill and one is a drain we're going to take them both out you can use uh, I think it's a 
a 10 number, 10 millimeter or a screwdriver. I just use a big screwdriver. First thing I look for whenever I start draining it, see if the grease looks oily, I'm uh, milky or anything like that. Seeing if there's any water in my lower unit. Uh, and this doesn't appear to have. So this stuff drains super, super slow. So just let her drain and I'll usually let it set this away sometime for an hour or so. We'll come back and look at it in just a little while. All right, it's been about an hour, hour and a half. It's finally finished draining. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put the bottom plug back in and then we're going to use this Mercury High Performance Gear Lube 90 weight. There's 32 ounces in one of these bottles and I can't remember if it's 24 or 27 ounces of gear oil that this uh, lower unit holds. But you can buy this little tool kit, I guess that's how I'm going to describe it, and uh, this hose and it screws into the bottom. We're not going to put the plug in right now, I just realized that. It screws into the bottom and we're going to pump grease into it until it comes out this top hole. But we're not going to assume it's full. I'll do this three or four times over the next hour, hour and 15 minutes because this gear oil takes so long to settle. I want to make sure that it's completely full before I get through with this. We want to make sure it's full of oil. So, let's get started with that. I'm going to screw this into the bottom. It comes with a little cap. So the last time I did this, cap's on. Same bottle here. I don't know how much is left in the bottle. What's going on, Delaney? Man, I hadn't even had time to look. I'm in the middle of uh, uh, filming a maintenance uh, YouTube video, and you're on it right now. We're good. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's good or not. People may look at that and go, who in the heck is that? Sound like a movie star. All right, let me get this started again. Oh, cuz called me in messed up my my video so we're gonna get started i got it hooked on to the bottom here and we're just gonna start slowly pumping this in all right we finally got some oil come out of the top we're just gonna let it sit for a few minutes let it settle. Make sure you've got this perpendicular to the ground also. You want your motor to be level. Just to show you what I'm talking about with this oil settling, I let it set for just a few minutes and I had to pump 12 pumps to get grease to come out to the top. So it takes a while for that heavyweight grease just to level itself out. And also, I spin this shaft a little bit don't know if it makes any difference or not, but it, if there's any air pockets up underneath those splines, maybe it'll, uh, I'm pretty sure it gets rid of them anyway. So we're going to let it set another few minutes and see if it takes any more grease. Four pumps for it to settle in that time, so we're getting close. All right, barely pushed it, and I've got flow coming out the top. So we're pretty confident that it's full. Let's go ahead and put that top plug on. We'll unscrew the bottom and put that bottom plug in too. Put in the top one first. It'll kind of create a vacuum on it and it won't let it flow out the bottom.
These things come with a little cap also, goes on it. Put that cap back on, you'll be ready for the next time. Now we need to put our prop back on. Double check this tightness. If you use a torque wrench on it, I believe you'll find that it's a hundred pounds. But I didn't. Again, I like to clean this shaft off real good inspect it for any burrs or anything like that. Clean my washer off. Check it, make sure it looks good. And I like to put a little grease on it. Doesn't have to be thick. This is a marine grade grease. Remember the big part of the flange goes to the back. Slide your prop on. There's two little ears on these splines. And I mean, it's self explanatory. Just put these ears over the top of them, locks them in. Let's get the nut on. I do use a torque wrench for my prop and I've got it set to the recommended uh, torque is 55.3 foot pounds. Don't forget to bend at least one of these ears back. And we're good to go. So we've changed our engine oil, we've changed our engine oil filter, and we've changed the lower unit grease. And as far as hands-on time, it really doesn't take that long to do it. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time waiting for oil to settle and drain and stuff like that. So hopefully you've learned something today. And, uh, and if you haven't, hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Ask us a question if you got one. See if we can answer it. Make a comment. And please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to try to uh, put more and more content on and different content. And you know the title of this uh, the channel is Woods Water in the Word, so we've got a lot of water. We're gonna, hopefully we're going to get some more woods in and, uh, and a lot more word in. So thank you all for watching, tuning in. We'll see you next time on Woods Water in the Word.